Joining me today is New England College Professor of Political Science, Dr. Wayne Lesperance. Wayne, thanks so much for thanks, being here. Thanks for having me on, John. Uh, you know, I want to talk uh, the conventions. Sure. Um, and and I, I want to start out saying, look, at, we're taping before the conventions have started, so I'm going to ask you to predict things. Sure. Uh, and, and I know your crystal ball is good, um, <laughs> but I know it's not perfect. Um, so, and in this election, I don't think anybody's crystal right. ball is There's perfect. There's a big crack in the middle of mine, that's for sure. Um, uh, so uh, let's start with a, a Republican um, convention. Uh, um, and at the end of this convention, at the end of the convention, what are the headlines that are going to come out of it? We're going to know. We're going to know if not sooner. We'll know who the vice presidential pick is for for Mr. Trump. Uh, we'll know what the we, are, we know already a bit about the platform. We'll know whether that is a social conservative platform, uh, whether it's a more moderate platform. There's a lot of negotiation going on. Uh, Mr. Trump is trying to placate to some extent the social conservatives of the party by giving in to them what they want in their in their platform. So we're seeing some potentially the most conservative social, uh, socially conservative platform we've seen in, in decades uh, coming out of this convention. Um, so let me stop that. So the Republican convention exits with a hugely socially conservative platform. Could be. Um, let's assume that for a second. Um, they also exit with Donald Trump as their nominee. Uh, now I'm really going to ask you crystal balling questions. If the Trump uh, comes up short on the presidency, Will it be will it will it be the Trump or will it be the platform? Oh, it'll be the candidate. Nobody votes for the platform. Okay. I mean, the platform will make headlines. It'll be something that uh, progressives will talk about and say this is the Republican Party. You know, really for 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 Americans right now, we are transitioning to the reality that this is now Donald Trump's Republican Party. For all that's good and bad about that, that, that it is what it is. He gets the credit if they win. He gets the blame if they lose. And it's not just the presidency. It's all those down-ballot races as well. If Senator Ayotte loses in New Hampshire, I'm pretty sure the first thing that they're going to point at is the effect that Trump had on the race here in the Granite State. So uh, it's, it's his ball of wax, and, and whatever happens is going, to, is going to land squarely at his feet. Is he bound to follow the platform if he wins the election? No, no. I mean, the, the platform is an expression of preferences, it's goals, it's aspirational. Uh, there's often platform language that, you know, is, is just that. It's what we'd like to see. Donald Trump's going to do whatever Donald Trump wants to do. And, and most presidents would be that, that way. Donald Trump, I think, is uniquely uh, about uh, making sure he does, he will, he will do what's best for the Trump brand. Uh, so, yeah, the, the platform is supposed to be, uh, you know, defining what the party is all about. Uh, but I think anybody who thinks that Donald Trump's going to feel constrained by a platform is, is kind of missing the point. I, I, you said Donald will do what's best for the Trump brand. Yeah. <coughs> How is that squaring with Republicans? I mean, because that, that notion, I think, sort of was from, you know, a subconscious almost. Um, you know, you wouldn't have said that with Romney. You wouldn't have said it with Bush. Right. right. Um, how is that squaring with Republicans uh, that you talk to uh, and what you're looking at? Well, it depends on which Republicans you talk to. There are certainly those that are Trump fans who, who think that that brand is everything, that that brand projects strength, and that's what they're looking for. Uh, there's polling data out today, in fact, that looks at uh, Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton on, on how, who would better deal with ISIS. Trump wins far and away. Polling data about how Trump would deal with China, how Trump would deal with, or which would deal better with China or job creation. Trump wins in both of those categories. Now, jobs is the number one issue and has been for the last five or six cycles, right? If that's what voters make their minds up on, then Trump is in a very good position. The Trump brand is a brand that projects strength, projects success. He wants to make America great again. All of these slogans we've all gotten familiar with. And at the end of the day, uh, that's, that's what a lot of Republicans react to. But there is a significant portion of the Republican Party that's wringing its hands, that's wondering what the heck happened. How did we get here? This is not a Republican that they're used to working with. Uh, and so there's some challenges there. Um, and we're almost at our time in this segment. When we return, I want to talk about the platform and specifics. So please stay with us.